so what's up guys and welcome back so for season 13 I thought I'd try to capitalize on the success that I believe that I have had on season 12 season 12 was probably one of the greatest seasons that I had and frankly you know I've gotten quite a lot of great responses from it and one of the things that I thought would really make the channel better, and I'm going to pose it to you guys, um, one of the things that I really love doing is, next to talking about politics, is basically going in to, and talking about history, because I'm a big history person. Um, I believe that politics has been dictated in some form or another by our history, and that history will be dictated by politics. I mean, that's just the kind of, you know, runaround, you know, circular reasoning that we have. But, yeah, and just the idea that if we don't learn from our history, we're doomed to repeat it. Especially these days. But, I believe that history is a very important thing to learn about. And I thought I might end up um, doing some videos and stuff like that talking about certain sections of history um, one per and uh, one person I love uh, listening to is actually uh, uh, Cody from the alternative uh, history hub and his views on what would have happened if such and such you know would have happened you know so he's talking you know he does that sort of thing and I would personally like to just focus on actual moments in history and stuff like that and I guess educate people kind of be able to teach and stuff like that so it kind of like you know do videos where they're kind of like lectures in a way uh, something that uh, people might uh, be able to use you know as far as studying for you know tests or something like that something that might help anybody from you know young young children to young college students you know, I just thought that might be something that might be useful, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, though, on this, or if I'm going to make another channel for it, so we'll just see where that goes from there, but that's one of the ideas I thought about doing to make things better, um, have content flowing. Um, the other thing that I am going to do is I am going to talk, you know, a lot about different things, such as, um... I would like to readdress the whole issue with uh, Scottish independence again because I haven't really talked much about it since um, the referendum last year. One, because I was thoroughly disappointed that, that the yes vote didn't go through. Not surprised, but just disappointed. Um, and so I'd kind of like to do that again. Um, one, and also because one of my uh, subscribers um, happened to, um, I spoke with her during the break, and uh, we discussed something like that. And uh, hopefully, uh, considering that she is uh, from that neck of the woods, I thought I might, you know, ask her, kind of uh, inquire some information about it, and uh, try to find some information myself and do some sort of update with that because it does appear that people are getting very irritated at the fact that they have not gotten their devolution yet uh, that people do feel like they got conned which they did um, and a lot of other things so you know a lot of this as well as the fact talking about um, you know the significance between that um, Catalonian independence um, I'm going to probably look back into Venice again because I haven't heard much about that since that one article about a year and a half ago. And then um, and then just talking about Californian independence, uh, Texan independence, you know, different things like that. So I want to talk about those independence movements again. And, um, and then, yeah, I've got some things that I'm going to just a general topics that will continue, you know, general news, current events that will continue to go, um, maybe we'll continue to, you know, talk about, uh, men's rights movement, 
and gender equalism as opposed and as opposed to feminism and other things like that. Um, those will probably be topics that will continue to be discussed. Because again, people that have so hated on me because of these things, I'm just like, well, you know what? I'm going to do more of them. And that's how I view it. And I'm going to continue to... I'm going to continue putting out the content that people that uh, uh, people have reacted to negatively, saying, you know, oh, you're full of shit, and blah, blah, blah. You didn't, you know, listen to my points, or you didn't listen to, you know, this person's points who I may, you know, that th that person may or may not have some sort of friendship with, so biases might be strong there. You know, and it's just like, and... <laughs> And yes, that was a conversation I literally just recently had. Um, so all these different things about how <laughs> about you know me me not listening to people or me not taking into consideration people. People saying, "Oh, your biases are too strong." No, my biases. Yes, I have. The channel says always biased. It's not so much that I'm exactly. It's not necessarily the fact that I'm biased. It's the fact that I've presented information and stuff like that, and you have failed to to sway my opinion in another direction. And, you know, yes, there are some things that I can honestly agree or I can at least understand on, and then there's other things where I just purely just, you know, don't agree with you on. You know, or I think that it's a sham argument or something like that. So... You know, frankly, you know it, it's it, it's the people that that then that that go out and attack me and try to attack my credibility over something over a piece of uh, of information or or over a video that I've done. Yeah, I'm going to continue doing more of those. And to the people that love me talking about certain other topics, I'm going to do more of those. And to things that I probably haven't covered so as much. I might try to raise a little bit more awareness to it, maybe try to cl um, clarify some things. Other than that, some things might kind of, you know, just be put to the back burner. Um, because I'm going to continue to try to produce the content that I see fit for my audience. And I'm going to try to be, you know, again, and I'm going to be trying to be a lot more personable. I'm going to try to be a lot more... Um, open about myself. I'm not going to get personal personal, but I'm definitely going to be a lot more open and stuff like that. I might start posting things on my Twitter account and stuff like that and my Facebook uh, and different things like that. I might actually start putting some things out there that fucking matter and things that actually, you know, might even get, give you guys a laugh and stuff like that. I'm going to probably even and again, I'm going to probably produce some ha-ha funny sort of shit, you know, that's going to be out there. Because, you know, I want to be a personable, you know, in I want to be a personable human being. I want to be able to not come off as this, you know, stuffy fucking person behind the camera that's always talking about politics, you know. Sometimes people might want to talk about sports. Some people, sometimes people might want to talk about you know, certain other, uh, you know, other things. Some people just might want to laugh or something like that. So I'm going to try to make content for that. And I am going to be bringing back the intimate video things, the personal video things. Um, and again, not sure if I'll make that part of the channel or just make that another, uh, make, uh, make another channel for that. Um... Because I know certain people have like two or three different channels and stuff like that, so we'll we'll see what goes on. We or we might just stay with what's going on here. But um, I am definitely going to try and make things a lot better. Keep producing the content that you guys want to do, as I promised at the in the season 12 finale. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna you know continue to rock it because. Again, let's try to capitalize on the success that we had in season 12 and make that a go for season 13 because I want to, yeah, I want to hear what you guys have to say, what content you guys want me to produce, your, you know, some suggestions and stuff like that. 
and yeah, you know, trying to make this more of a of a fan of a fan event and stuff like that instead of just me, you know, posting stuff all the time. You know, I'm just gonna continue to produce the shit that you guys want that and the shit that has gotten responses and the shit that I know about the shit that I you know that has made me you know uh, get these responses that I have you know the stuff that I've considered to be successful in putting out there and drawing controversy and drawing some sort of debate you know drawing some sort of conversation and that's what we're gonna. We're, that's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to make season thirteen as great, if not greater, than season twelve. Cause I'll, I'm, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I like to continue to strive for, for progress. Continue to strive to make things better. At the same time, I'm not here to also, you know, hold anybody's hand and uh, try to, you know, sugarcoat anything. You know, if you like me, if you like me. If you don't, you don't. And I'm just going to tell you straight up how I feel. So, yeah. if it, it, It's basically like... So for those that basically don't that continue to hate on the content, blow me. I don't care. It's not... So, yeah. I'm just doing the stuff that my people want. What... You know, the content that has gotten the responses. I'm going to continue making it, whether people like it or not. So, with all that said, I'm NorCal Nick, the leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Welcome in to Season 13, bitches. Peace.